It has come to my attention that a lot of Sierra clients or security officers struggle to update their cell phone numbers on Sierra app. Well, I'm here to tell you that there is a way to change or update your cell phone number on Sierra app. All you have to do is to watch this skillful lesson till the end so that you can do it yourself. And please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell in order to get notified whenever we drop another skillful lesson. Welcome to another skillful lesson of Technology for All Academy Sierra series, where we get the chance to share and learn important factors and skills about Sierra Online Services and more. My name is Taba Makobe, the founder of Technology for All Academy. As I have mentioned earlier, our focus will be on teaching you how to update or change your cell phone number on Sierra app. And to do that, we are going to use Security Officer Profile Claim. We can claim our profile for different factors. Firstly, you can claim your profile when you lost your old number and you want to register a new number, which is what our lesson is focusing on for today. Secondly, maybe you forgot your username or user number and password and can't log in. And thirdly, you have a profile with Sierra, but you registered before the online services. So in order for you to access the services, maybe you want to renew your Sierra certificate. So in order to access the online services, you have to first claim your profile. There are two ways in which you can log in into your Sierra app. The first one is to use your cell number and the OTP. And the second one is to use your username or user number and the password. And from my point of view, I will advise you as a security officer or Sierra client to use the username and password. Because when you use username and password, there's no need for you to access your cell phone or to get the OTP from Sierra. When you claim your profile, you need to know the following things. Your date of birth, your ID number, and your Sierra grades. Now, let's open our Google Chrome in order to access the Sierra website for our practical. And in order to access the website, we have to type www.sierra.com dot co dot za enter and now that we are inside the sierra website we go to the home page and on the home page we go to online services and click on claim your profile on the profile claim page that open on choose your profile you click the drop down arrow and then you select security officer on the open the graphic user interface you click on forgot your mobile number and on the next GUI that opens, on profile, you select security officer and then on number, you enter your new number, omitting the zero. Okay, let me enter my client's number. And when you are done entering your number, you click on send OTP so that you can get an OTP on your mobile phone or your cell number. Let me click the send OTP. The OTP is a four digit number that you get from Sierra. You enter that number so that you can carry on with your profile claim. Let me enter the OTP that I got which is 4614 and then I'll click on verify OTP and as you can see it says success OTP is successfully verified. The next step on the following GUI we have to answer the following questions. Confirm the identity number. I'll put the ID number of my client and then confirm date of birth. I'll put it in and lastly we have to confirm the highest grade and then when done you click submit as we can see we got the message we could not verify your information please contact Sierra help desk on 086-133-3850 meaning there's something wrong with the app we can't carry on so make sure that when you get a message like that you call the help desk so that they can help you on carrying forward with the profile claim but on our case we can still log in. I just wanted to do the practical. Our client still has his username or user number and password. But then, if everything went well, the following graphic user interface was going to be the one where you enter your new password and you confirm the password. Meaning you must enter it and re-enter it again so that you can confirm it. And with that, you would have done all the process and as we all know, the username or user ID is your cell phone number omitting the zero. 
and the password will be the password uh, that you just confirmed and you have to make sure that you don't lose that password because you'll have to use your user id and password to log in with that that brings us to the end of our lesson hope this lesson was informative and beneficial if you benefited a lot from this video please share with someone who can also benefit and learn from it and also please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever we drop another lesson with that let me love and leave you have a blessed day thank you